What's going on everyone? Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to find and load your instruments and effects by Native Instruments inside a GarageBand. I have a blank GarageBand project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments, Cloud Supply. With a blank GarageBand project open, I'll click the plus sign here, choose a software instrument, and click Create. By default, it brings up an electric piano, but we need to change this so that we can load up Cloud Supply. If you don't see this area down below, you can double click on the track in the arranger. Click the arrow to expand the menu. Click the arrow next to ePiano, AU Instruments, and Native Instruments. Don't worry if you don't see everything you installed from Native Access in this list. Some of the instruments you installed like Cloud Supply are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install Contact from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll select Contact. As you can see in Contact's browser, these are all of the Contact libraries I've installed from Native Access. The list on the right is currently showing me all of the presets across all of my Contact instruments. You can either filter by type of sound, character, brand, or select an individual library in the browser below. Let's select Cloud Supply. Now the preset list on the right is only showing me presets specifically for Cloud Supply. When clicking on any of these, we hear a preview of what it sounds like. Just double click and now this sound is loaded. If you want a different sound or instrument, click the library button, select a new instrument or preset, and double click to load. For a more detailed overview of contact, for a more detailed overview of contact, check out the how to use everything in contact video link below. Let's load up Massive X. I'll click the plus sign to create a new instrument, click Software Instrument, and then Create. I'll go back to the Plugins option down below, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, and this time I'll select Massive X. Now that it's loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, Click the preset name at the top and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Depending on what you've purchased, there are Massive X expansions which are additional packs of presets specifically for Massive X. Those you can find by clicking here and selecting the expansion you'd like. Also, check out the how to use everything in Massive X to learn the ins and outs of this synth. Now let's get some drums in here. I'll follow the same process again and create a new software instrument. We'll go back to the plugins option down below, go to AU Instruments, Native Instruments, and this time let's select Battery. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into Battery. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects, and one of my personal favorite reverbs to use is ROM. Let's go back to the Cloud Supply track. Below Contact in the Plugins area, I'll click on an empty cell, go to Audio Units, Native Instruments, and select ROM. Even the default ROM settings sound great. 
From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets. After creating some music using your instruments and effects, you may want to master your track to get it sounding as loud and clean as possible. That's where Ozone comes in. I'll click this icon to bring up the Smart Control area and click Master. In the list of plugins, I'll select Channel EQ, AU Instruments, Isotope, and Ozone. Select from a wide range of mastering presets for different cases like depth and clarity in all-purpose mastering or genre-specific chains. Or you can use Ozone's Master Assistant. Play back the loudest part of your track and Ozone will create a custom mastering chain specifically for your track. want to know more about Ozone and the mastering process, we also have a how to use everything in Ozone which is linked below. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects inside of GarageBand. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.